Right, so this is a 10 year old tree or 11 years old now. Really hard to give examples, um, kind of talking about fruit tree pruning. Sometimes it's better just to go in and do it. Um, I won't be using the secateur as much. You can see this tree's got some real vigorous growth. What I need to do, first look for the 3Ds. So we want dead, damaged, diseased. Try and think of the, the, all three of them. This one cropped really heavily last year, so there might be some disease some. Then we're going to look over for crossing over limbs and limbs that kind of shadow in each other. And we're going to look at it for shape. So the first thing to do, kind of go around the tree, have a look at it completely, see where there's any damaged wood and what we need to take out to start with. And then we can start building structure. I can already see, um, so I don't know how good it is to see on this picture. This branch wants to come out. It's being overshadowed by these. We can raise this crown a little bit, make it a bit easier for management underneath. And actually this one, can go, looking at it. So that's quite a straight branch as well. Um, then we can start looking at taking out some of the middle uh, a bit more. Luckily this tree is a Scotch Bridget, not prone to canker. I've got some trees a bit further over in the orchard which are really prone to canker. We'll have to take a bit more out. So we're going to take some of this out, try and keep it so that I, I want trees but I can pick the apples from without a ladder. That is my kind of aim. I want the goblet shaped tree. You meant to be able to shut your hat through the middle. I'm not going to do that yet because uh, I don't think it's going to work. But let's take a few of these out and uh, we'll have a bit more of a look at it. So first of all, we'll walk around the tree. Then I'll take some branches out. Then we'll walk around the tree. You see actually the trees are kind of coming together. I planted these about five meters apart. Uh, these are on 106 rootstocks, so semi-vigorous. But what, it's almost too close, so I wish I'd gone a little bit further, but it depends how far you let them kind of go. But let's get in there, pull out a few branches, and um, just start working at it like that. Not much dead and diseased and dying on this one. Damaged, whatever the 3D thing is. But let's, uh, let's go. Let's get in there first. Already you can see we kind of a bit of a lawnmower pruning I call this. Let's be getting there with the scythe a bit easier. This one. Again, growing a bit lower and it's overshadowed by the other one. That's already looking better. We want to leave nice clean stubs when we cut it close to the close to the tree um, and lets it kind of grow back then and heal over. Let's get in. So in the middle you get a lot of these kind of water shoots shooting up, which are actually brilliant for scion wood if you're doing any grafting. But not the kind of growth we want at the moment. So I'm fetching those off on the inside now and make sure that we've got the growth all on the outside really. That's what I want it.
the other thing we need to be mindful of is we're pulling branches out, not to knock all the fruit and buds off. Excuse me. The uh, wind's just at the wrong direction. Uh, eating more apple than I'm sawing. So you can see, actually on here, we've not got a huge number of fruit and buds, so we don't want to be taking all the fruit off. You see the difference? You've got a nice big fruit and bud on the end. This one's a tip and spur bearer. And then these are just leaf buds, uh, the smaller ones. So you have to be careful not to knock them off as we're pulling branches out, which can be the risk. But already you can see we've, we've kind of opened it up a little bit. And again, I don't think I'm gonna take that much off this year. Um, take a few more branches, possibly from the other side now, just because otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna to get to the point where we're gonna be encouraging just lots of growth, which we don't want. You can root prune, some people do root prune, put the spade round and chopping the root, the top roots off. But I don't like to do that too much. Um, it's a lot of effort for one. So yeah, let's get uh, a few on the other side. And we're nearly there, I think. Oh, okay, right. Now, it's not how I want it. It probably never will be. But I think that's enough for this year. Unfortunately, I've still got quite a high bit of growth going there. But we are shaded by these big trees, you know, and the sun comes from that way. So it's obviously going to try and reach for the light. Actually, no. I'm going to take that one off, actually, looking at it. I mean, that's going to do. And you'll see the pile I've created. It's surprising how quickly you um, build it up. Right, let's have a look. You see, now I've taken off, so there's nothing too, too high. And I've thinned this side where it gets more light. It's obviously grown a lot more than the other side. So it's kind of evened up the growth a little bit. Um, walk around it. You can see now, I'm not saying I'll be able to chuck my hat right through the middle. <laughs> if I was selective about where I threw it, I probably could. But to me, that's looking a lot better. The only thing I think I'd actually do, I'll take this bit off here, just because it's where we drive. And if there's a lot of weight on that end, it'll snap the branch anyway. So yeah. And then just from that one tree, we've got that amount of wood will chop up into smaller pieces and use for kindling and stuff like that and the kids will but yeah so that's a 10 year old apple tree pruned we've got a few more to do not all as bad as this 
And then at my mum's I've got some 20 year old apple trees that I planted when I was about 18, 19. And I'll do a video of that if anyone's interested. But I really enjoy this job. It's a nice process. It's taken about 10 minutes to prune that tree. It's not a huge ask for the amount of fruit it gives me. Um, and pruning it every year is really how you keep, you know, keep it a top quality tree. Um, this is a reliable cropper. This is Scotch Bridget. Dual purpose, cooker and eater. They're in the shed now and I've had them last till the middle of June. So, you know, it's a really good apple. Really worth putting some effort into kind of just keeping it healthy. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video and I'll do some more. Bye.